What's going on, YouTube Nation? Gil Boogie over here. Um, wanted to do a quick review on a couple of bags. Um, my friends at Rock and Soul asked me to help them out and do some reviews on some products. So I was like, hey, sure, why not? You know. Um, so the first, the first in um, I guess the set of reviews that I'm going to be doing is going to be on some DJ bags, some bags that were made for DJs. Specifically, you know, to carry your gear around and uh, help you make getting from point A to point B a lot easier. Um, the two bags that I'm going to review today are by Mono. And um, one is a shoulder strap and the other one is a backpack. This one is like the over the shoulder type. And this is the backpack type. Um, they come in different colors. I'll probably post up pictures of the different colors. Um, as you can see, the design is, is, is pretty similar as far as like the way it's, um, I guess, quilted here. This one has the same look. They both have the nice shiny uh, metallic thing here with the logo on it. Steel rivets. Um, the backpack has a lot of good padding because you're going to be putting heavy stuff in here. So the... Um, the part, the, the straps that go over your shoulders are padded. The part that rests on your back is nice and padded. Um, and then, of course, the messenger bag just has the um, part up on top of the strap is uh, reinforced, as you can see right there, with some extra padding. Um, so I guess the first one I'm going to go into is the backpack. Check it out, we're going to open up the backpack. First of all, in the front, I don't know if you can see this, there's a pocket right here. I guess you can put your MP3 player in there and it has a little hole right up here for your headphones to come out. Um, there's a pocket on the side here. You can see that there. Another pocket on this side. Um, on the back here, there's another pocket. I guess you can access that while your backpack is on. You can see that. What else you got here on the outside of the backpack? And then you've got your handle, of course. And everything feels really, really sturdy. It feels like um, like you can put this through. You know, this is going to last a lot of wear and tear. We'll open up the first pocket and see what we have inside. Um, we have this strap here for some cabling, as you can see. We have another pocket up here. I guess you could throw in maybe a couple of zip drives. I mean, uh, a couple of your flash drives, your um, thumb drives. Put those in there. Whatever you want to put in there, some more cabling. And then what's really cool is it has these little removable um, pockets here, these compartments that you can use to house different things, some more cabling, external hard drive. Um, I'm gonna see if my Serato box fits in there. So you got that. And then of course, it, so it stays, um, it's gonna be secured in there because of the Velcro. It's got Velcro inside. Um, and then we'll go to the main pocket, which I'll uh, unzip this. Right here. And this is where your main area is going to be at. This you can fill up with vinyl or whatever you want. And uh, this is the sleeve for your laptop. And it, it has a lot of good padding. Besides the padding back here, it has padding on the inside. And All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to compare this backpack to what I use now. And um, what I use now is just a regular um, laptop backpack, which was... It's a pretty good backpack, but I think it's more designed for like students and stuff like that. It's probably designed to carry some books along with your laptop. This is made specifically for DJs. And what I like the most about this is that it's not very bulky, which is good if you're coming in and out of a club or just a place that's packed with people. You know, sometimes you're not the first DJ on. Maybe you might be the second or third. You might get there, the place is packed, and you don't want to be walking around with this big bulky backpack. Um, one second. This is the backpack that I use now. I just wanted to show. It's a pretty good backpack. I paid like 80 or 90 bucks for this. I bought it about five years ago. Um, it's made by Swiss Gear or whatever this is. Swiss Army. 
Um, so I'm going to transfer the stuff from here to there and I'm going to see how that works out, alright? See you in a few. Now as you can see inside my backpack, I kind of just have everything shoved in there. It's probably not the smartest thing to do. Um, I wish somebody would make a case for my DNHC 1000. They have one for the tractor, MIDI control. And besides that, I have my, behind that I have my Serato box right here. I have a microphone that I just bring out with me in case I need a mic. Um, a bunch of cords just kind of shoved in this front pocket here. Um, my needles are right in the outside, which is not cool because uh, they can get stolen that way. But um, I'm going to take everything out of here and I'm going to put it in the other backpack and see how it turns out. Alright, uh, YouTube, check it out. Um, I finished packing up the bag. Here it goes. It actually felt heavy when I was picking it up, but now that it's on my shoulders, it, it feels fine, you know? So this is the bag. This is the backpack by Mono. Mono, however it's pronounced. Mono. 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 Maybe it's a monkey, like in Spanish. Mono. It's got this strap right here. Um, so I'm going to take it off right now real quick. And I'm going to show you how I packed it up, just to give you an idea. Alright, check it out. So, in the pocket here, I put my external hard drive and a few CDs. Let me move this out this for the next project. So there you go, I got some CDs in my external hard drive and some silica gel. <laughs> All right, um, in the first compartment, like I said, I have nothing to carry this around in. I wish somebody would make something for this to keep it protected. Now, the first thing is my Serato box did not fit in any of these, um, which is kind of sucked because I was hoping that it would. But I, I was able to fill them up with um, RCA plugs. And stuff like I said, maybe you could fit um, a sound card or something in there, an external hard drive. You could use these for whatever you want. I could also have just take my wires out of here, wrap them up nice and neatly, and just sat them on the bottom there, and it probably would have made a lot more space. But I just wanted to use these for the purpose of this video, just to use them for something. So I fill these up with RCA plugs and stuff, the um, power supply to my MacBook. And then I had my DNHC 1000 in here. But I tell you what, it's not going to bounce around as much as it did in my um, my Swiss Army bag. So that's the main compartment. And then, like I said, I have some, some thumb drives in the little pocket up top. I wasn't able to, to use these. I was hoping that my needles would fit in here, my cartridges. But they didn't. Um, so that's actually more storage space I could use for whatever else I want. And then in the main compartment, I have my headphones, which I kind of just threw in there. And come in here and get up, get this. My headphones were in there. My needles. My Serato box. My big ass old microphone, which I got like three of them for like 40 bucks one day. It was a sale years ago at Sam Ash, old school cutting record. But um, I got my mic in there, my laptop, and uh, my Serato vinyls, my butter rugs. Everything fit really good, and like I said, uh, I could actually, if I really wanted to, I could rearrange the stuff and, uh, you know, probably get some more room in there. But there it is. This is the um, backpack by Mono. This is retailing for about 150 bucks, I think, in most places. It's retailing for about 150 bucks in most places, and uh, you can get this at Rock and Soul for 120 bucks. You can get this at Rock and Soul. It says here, according to um, where is it at? It says it's made of waterproof shark skin, uh, waterproof shark skin shell with industrial rubber sole, PVC free. I'm actually gonna wet it up in a little while. And I want to see, I'm going to fill it up with paper or with something. I'm definitely not going to leave my laptop in there or anything just in case it doesn't uh, hold out. But I'm going to 
put my I'm gonna fill it up with newspapers or something and I'm gonna just hose it down or whatever and I'm gonna see actually how waterproof it is. I'll show you guys that later on in another part of the video. Steel riveted handle and shoulder straps, as you can see there, nice steel rivets. Um, it's a heavy duty, heavy duty bag. Um, slim contoured form for tight spaces and crowds. Five exterior pockets. Um, two removable padded boxes. You saw that uh, inner cable strap. You saw that, um, and that's pretty much it. That's this bag wrapped up. Remember, one hundred and twenty dollars at Rock and Soap. Alright, this is about a good five minutes later. I wet it up pretty good. Um, let it dry a little bit. Uh, let's see. The surface is still wet, I mean, which is not a problem. I don't know if you can see in here, there's some water on my um, desk here. I don't know if, you can, if that's going to come out in the camera or not. I don't know. You can see some condensation or some water. You know what? The paper is wet. The paper is actually wet. The areas by the zipper are wet. And I, I did a pretty good job of wetting it. I didn't go easy on it. But the paper is a little wet. In the middle it's dry. But the paper is a little wet. That's the areas by where the zipper was. The inside of the bag is pretty dry. Um, like I said, the area around the zipper, the paper was a little wet. You can see, I don't know if you can see that, the water on the table. Just so you know, I really did wet it up. Um, now we're gonna check the second compartment. Which is the, uh, whoa, the area where the laptop would go. This is actually dry. This is pretty dry. Yeah, this is all good here. The area where your laptop would go, the main cargo area, is actually pretty dry. None of the newspapers wet. I guess this this uh, a little extra piece of lining there helps a lot if you zipper it up, put the zippers both down on, on one end and then you have the um, extra lining there. But the inside pocket was pretty good. And the little side pockets now, let's see, this was open a little so let's see how much water got in there. Um, nothing really, to, that's dry. Let's see this one. It's dry. Overall, um, the main pocket where your laptop, the most important part would go, pass the test. And then the secondary compartment where, excuse me, where you would put all your plugs and cords and all that stuff. Um, I don't know, the area around where the zipper was, some water got through. I don't know if that was because that was where the two zippers met. Maybe some water got in through there. I did a pretty good job of wetting it up. Um, and that's it. That concludes my test of the mono bag. Uh, Gil Boogie, y'all.